Okay, so I hosted a Roblox Studio game jam in my uh, Discord. The theme is uh it's kind of it's kind of silly. It is you are watching TV at your house until dot dot dot. I kind of wanted to like prod uh, my Discord members into making like a bunch of horror games cuz that's just what I was in the mood for at that day. But yeah, so the the time is up. I have 6 of the best games from there and uh, we're going to go through them. The prizes are pretty pretty dope too. Like first place is 20 thousand robux so this is uh this is the real deal um anyways let's look at the uh, winners okay so this one isn't actually within the top five so sadly it doesn't win any robux sorry adam um but it is really good still and i wanted to show it off it's called don't watch tv at 3 a.m and right off the bat we have an amazing loading screen right here um i can skip it though <laughs> so i don't know why it's there but anyway don't watch tv at 3 a.m ah it's 3 a.m i'm bored i guess i'll go Go watch TV. Uh, this is how a lot of the games start. <laughs> Look at that cool objective GUI though. That's why I like this game so much. It just has great GUIs. Um, yeah, so I need to turn on the light. And if I go sit on the uh the wait a minute, what is that? I didn't actually notice this the first time playing. Okay, anyway, so we uh, sit on the couch, right? And this is really cool. And it uh, has these like videos play, which I don't even know how to do. Uh, I don't know what show this is. Okay, yeah, but I stopped watching it soon enough. Or rather, I am a four star. <laughs> as, you can, as you can see there, uh, that, that was loud, sorry. Anyways, I need to uh, go turn on the light, I think. Oh no, I need to go out and check the power box. Uh, yeah, I need the flashlight for this. I've only actually gotten one ending, so I might find another one uh, this next playthrough. But nonetheless, we're going outside to uh, fix our power box. So if we uh, go up to it, we uh, <laughs> we actually can't even fix it. We need to go get a lever from the store. So what you end up doing now is you like walk around this town and um, you just grab money because you need to go to a store eventually to buy something. Oh look, uh, a donation a donation model. Wow, there's a uh, there's someone pretty generous who uh, threw out quite a bit of uh, doubloons uh, at this game creator. What a what a nice what a nice guy. Uh, Sorry. So yeah, I need to go around town and pick up some dollars. So I'll get back when I have enough to uh, proceed. Alrighty, uh, we're at the store and we have $42 to our name. So this is uh, where the ending split off. I think like I can buy the this VIP card. Uh, no idea what it does. This lever is the main ending, I think. And uh, where was it? Oh yeah, the milk. This is, uh, this is what we will be trying out today. So uh, I wonder what the milk ending will entail. Okay. <laughs> I, I also I also wonder what I'm gonna do with it. My milk disappeared and I'm talking to a version of myself I found in another house. This tastes very good, uh, thanks me. Oh yay, I got the milk candy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, yeah, very silly game, and, uh, I don't know, I liked it. Great honorable mention. But anyways, let's move on to the fifth place game. Okay, so in, uh, fifth place right here, we have a game called Resume. Um, this one I chose- oh. Very true. Um, yeah, this one I chose because uh, it has a really unique mechanic and the uh, gameplay is the most, like, fun out of all of them, I guess. So yeah, play. Um, I'm- I'm- <laughs> I'm, uh, I've been taken. And as you can see here, I'm in like this uh, Roman kind of area. I don't know how to describe it. But yes, this is the mechanic. Watch. <gasps> we, can, we can freeze things. And then they unfreeze after a bit. So the uh, creator also uses this in pretty creative ways, which is another reason I chose it. This is a uh, really cool puzzle right here. Um, so you see the spinning fan, right? Well, normally I can't get under and around this big block, but if I pause it, I can like enter the crevice and then come out through here and then up through there. So I thought that was really cool. We're just gonna go on down and then we enter this, uh, uh oh. Okay, we enter here, go out through here. And I think we're already almost at the end. And it's quite short, but it is, its mechanics are just good, okay? Uh, boop. We eventually get over here, and we get to the most challenging part of uh, this game. So this is a, uh, an interesting timing. There we go. There we go. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, this part's uh, pretty hard. Oh, God. <laughs> I, uh, I broke it. <laughs> They're not supposed to uh, spin like that. I just made my own like obstacle a million times harder. Oh God. Oh no. Okay, I, 
<laughs> I made it impossible after enough tries. Um, I guess that's a critique, but after this you win anyway. So it's a, it's a great concept and I don't know, I like the art style. So yeah, uh, fifth place. Anyways, on to fourth. Okay, so fourth place is called Average Developer Experiences um, Play. So as usual, we start off dead on the floor. <laughs> um, I think this is supposed to be my house. Uh, uh, well, anyways. So yeah, as per usual, we sit on the couch and watch TV. Then uh, someone uh, someone appears at our door. And um, yeah, so it gives me the option to check who's at the door or I can just continue developing games, which I already played that ending. It's pretty boring, so... <laughs> We will go up our horribly decrepit stairs and uh, answer the door. And it's... What's going on behind... <laughs> But yeah, so uh, I I answer the door, apparently. It's kind of awkward because I'm playing it. Uh, this kind of messes with the lore of the game, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, basically, I'm about to work for myself as a developer. And then I get kidnapped. <laughs> and then I, I get taken to the uh, developer slavery camp. And I uh, end... <laughs> I end up here. So the cop asks for me to give him something tasty uh, to let him out, which I don't know if there's anything tasty here. There's just a uh, a toilet and a wooden a wooden plank. Is th is that supposed to be my bed? Well, anyways, the real way out is through the vent. So there we go. We uh. <laughs> we go to the vent and we get to choose uh, go to Cone's office or the free Robux. I haven't actually gone the free Robux route, but this this way is pretty funny. So we're going in. So, <laughs> so we end up at my office. I uh, ask why I was tricked and then I say I'm going to kill you. I can either <laughs> I can either save everyone else in the building or become the new owner of them. So I haven't actually chosen this ending yet. Uh, so this is now entering blind territory. But uh, let's release everyone and blow up the building. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, it it kicked me. Uh, I got the good ending, I think. Uh, woo -hoo -hoo. Anyways, uh, on to third place. This one is called Do Not Leave Your TV On. This is the title screen. Uh, very good, very good. But uh, yeah, let's play. Okay, so <laughs> we uh, enter my uh, my house. I am a, apparently a huge uh, Five Nights at <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's fan. Yeah. So uh, first objective is to look around. Okay. Now we need to go get a hamburger. <laughs> a blue hamburger. Okay. Let's. Uh, okay. It's cooking. But yeah, just the interactivity of this house is really cool. So I, I like this map a lot. Let's take out our food. Hamburger. Oh. Thanks for letting me know. Now we need to go wash our hands. And now the uh, the the real fun begins. Well, time to watch TV, I suppose. Just like how it all starts. Uh, n nothing can go wrong. Oh, this is kind of a cool show. Uh-oh. Get getting sleepy? Are we getting tired? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I did not see that the last playthrough. That is unsettling to say the least. <laughs> All right, so I hid under the bed last time. Uh, I should probably try something else because hiding in the bed, hiding under the bed kind of killed me. Someone is coming. Great. <laughs> Okay, he uh, he thinks he'll find me, but there's no way he can climb a ladder, right? This is this is a safe zone. Anyone there? Oh, <gasps> I win. He's not there anymore. Uh oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to get the gun. I I got the survivor ending. Well, I'll uh, I'll take that over the death one I got last time. Okay, really nice though. Really good game. Uh, third place. But without further ado, second place. Okay, so our second place game is called I Should Have Left the TV. I chose this for number two because the building is just really good. Like, look look at this room and that sun. This is beautiful. But yeah, so as for the uh, story, basically we are uh, trapped in this room by this TV and we just talk to it and beg it to let us leave. Why Why is the door locked? I want to leave. Yeah, we go back and forth with the TV for quite a bit. Um, Eventually, if we argue with the TV enough, 
This becomes the uh, exit. We are transported into a mysterious hallway, uh, which we can climb out of though. And we just go down here to move on to the next part, which is also really cool. Um, I won't spoil this. I won't spoil this one because it's just so long. I'm not gonna actually play through all of it. The link is in the description if you wanna check it out, but it is really good. There's like trials with rats and things. It's it's truly a masterpiece. But uh, anyways, on to number one. Okay, so number one is called Across the Coneverse. Basically, we sit, we sit down to eat and uh, watch this amazing show. That's a uh, just a slideshow of colors. <laughs> Something happens eventually, I swear. Uh, yeah, we, we, we get suspicious about that door. We check it to find a note that says you have something that belongs to me. However, uh, we, we can ignore this for now. <laughs> we, we get the urge to hide, um, however, <laughs> aka we are no longer able to ignore our suspicions. So we, uh, we uh, go inside the closet. However, after a bit, it's actually safe and the game ends. Um, yeah, that was a pretty nice- Oh my goodness! The game's not actually over? <laughs> I- I break into my own house? Um, yeah, what- what proceeds to happen is I just get abducted by myself in this case. But the dialogue icons are really cool. I, uh, there just seems to be so much effort put into this. It, it's truly amazing. Um, it gets better though, it gets better. Um, a, uh... <laughs> we were then uh, taken into a portal that uh, emerges from the TV. Uh, yeah, I guess I go first. Okay, so this is the really awesome part. Uh, this is a reference to an old video I made where I uh, asked kids math questions and uh, killed them if they got them wrong. So this is just awesome. Uh, how like I'm now the player in one of my old videos. It's so cool. But yeah, so for now, I just have to answer these questions correctly. Civil War started in 1861. Ticks were removed in 2016. Th this this question is a uh, a little odd. However, I think the answer is right. Okay, good. Yeah, so we collect these black diamonds to progress, and it takes us somewhere. Uh, <gasps> another old video. <laughs> and this we got this guy coming out again. Oh, I remember him from the sumo arena. This is so cool. Um, yeah, my job is to distract him while other me starts building something. I'm, uh, constantly getting chased by, uh, this. He, he drops fragments from the roof, too, which is scary, but also it's really cool. Okay, he's done. It looks like he made a rocket launcher. For, for how large he is, he's surprisingly quick. Um... And he's done, just like that, just like that. Um, yeah, so I guess we move on to the next dimension. Ooh, where is it gonna take us next? Which video? <gasps> The Minecraft video, one of the two that I made. I think I get uh, roasted, actually, by myself. Yeah, I ask if this is Minecraft or something, and uh, yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I need to go investigate something. I think it's over here, right? I need to go check this out. It's a, uh, it's a pile of gunpowder. That's, that's, that's odd. Well, even though it's odd, I decide to head back and, um, uh-oh, uh uh-oh. Uh it's, it's me, but with a dream mask on. There's now three of me in the same game. But yeah, so, uh, the, these two squabble for quite a bit. They, they want to kill each other, basically. The, the lore is a little complicated, but don't, don't worry about it. They'll, they'll fight while I need to go collect some scripts. I think this is the, uh, this is the answer. And boom, we killed him, I think. <laughs> yeah, he just loses his sword. Basically, after that, we uh, question the ethics of uh, that the cone right there, the normal one. So uh, we can either save or leave him. Um, in this case, we'll save him. Why not? And this unlocks an interesting. Uh, whoa! It's it's a reference to this video. That's so cool. <laughs> that will be good enough. <laughs> Um, yeah, though, uh, super, super awesome. I really like all the references. That's not even the only reason it won. It was super well coded too. So yeah, number one. But yeah, so that was the Game Jam results for the theme of you're watching TV until dot, dot, dot. Uh, very, very good. There was so many good games that I didn't include. If you want to join in on these, you should join the Discord and the group so that I can pay you if you win. But also just because the Discord's pretty awesome. Um, yep. See ya.